Hello world. Today we're going to learn how to install and set up Jupyter Notebook in Ubuntu 18.04. Our first question is why are we choosing a Linux system here? Actually it is uh, much more convenient to install, set up and uh, manage packages and dependencies in uh, Linux system than in Windows. Moreover, you can do a lot of things in just few lines of codes and commands here. And uh, why Jupyter Notebook? We are installing Jupyter Notebook specifically for Python and machine learning. But it is important to note that Jupyter Notebook is not specifically for Python. It supports 40 uh, different languages. But um, the uh, the main uh, use actually most people uh, choose Jupyter Notebook for sharing documents um, that contain live codes, equations, visualizations, narrative text, and it also includes data cleaning, transformation, simulation and modeling, uh, data visualization, and machine learning, as we already talked about. So. Now let's install it. Installing Jupyter Notebook is pretty straightforward. Um, actually, we can do it in two ways. Uh, one is the main thing, which is specially recommended, is um, using Anaconda. But uh, here we will install it using the pip package manager because we are dealing with Python all the way. Um, but let's first do this thing is upgrade it is already up to date and then we can install it this one uh, while installing this one uh, you better be a root user then do this I have already done it so and why I became a root user is that sometimes there could be permission issues and then you can do this one in order to run this command um, sometimes you might have to uh, in this system you have to this might not be necessary in some cases now we will exit from the root user now we can just launch Jupyter Notebook. Now you can see that this is the dashboard of Jupyter Notebook, and these are the files. Let's go to new. Oh, before that, let me let us first check out this URL. It is running on port triple eight eight and we can actually launch Jupyter Notebook um, on other ports as well and in order to do that let's first stop this one and Jupyter Notebook is right now running on port 888 and in order to close this you can see use control C to stop the server and let's just use control C and you can use again twice to actually close it or just confirm yes yes now in order to launch Jupyter Notebook in on port yes now it is uh, running on port triple nine nine so you can you can choose a custom port like that and then let's go we have the Python here and as we already said that it supports 40 different languages we can check them out here languages these are all the languages and let's start Python directly because we are going to deal with Python only and this is a cell um, we write our code in cells 
um, let's consider the typical Python program. Guess what? Yes, this one. This is uh, the program to print Fibonacci numbers, and we are printing it to 1000. In order to execute this program, run the cell, and this is the output. Now, if you want to add uh, add new cell, insert below, select this, insert, if you want to insert above this. And if I delete the cell, select the cell, and click delete. And we talked about uh, things like data visualization, uh, data plotting, representation, and all. Let's consider an example. Uh, let's put this one in another cell. Now let's run the cell. Linear plotting. Venn diagram. We're not going to explain this code because that is not part of the video. But uh, let me tell you that Google's Colab, where we do uh, machine learning stuff, is also a Jupyter notebook. Let me show you. I had written something about that in Quora once. Let me show you here you can see here um, this is the same as this one and you have a description here and this one is actually a movie classifier where um, when you go here you can input a description and it will tell you the genre of the movie um, it's quite interesting actually so uh, they have they have done a little bit of modification the rest uh, it is same so that's all about installing and setting up Jupyter Notebook in Ubuntu 18.04 and see you in the upcoming videos